All right, so welcome to my finance talk. This is the third video out of five. So in this one, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, how I managed my civilian finances when I was a civilian. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is a general principle that is great to, it's like a guideline that you should know on how to uh, you spend your income. So this is a 60-20-20 rule that I personally used. So what, the, what this is, is 60% of your income on expenses, 20 on savings and 20 on personal. So in actuality, okay, it's actually different. You know, sometimes your expenses might be 70%, sometimes your expenses might be 80%, uh, and you might be only to you might be only saving you know, 10% and be you know using personal uh, income on 10%. But you know, for the most part, this is where you want to be. Okay, so 20% when you save, you don't want to touch that savings account for any reason. Okay, you never want to step down from your sta uh, savings account. Okay, you always want to be moving up on your savings account. And um, for the most part, I, I try to decrease my expenses. So I have some money in my checking account so I can cover future unexpected expenses. Okay, and 20% of my income is spent on personal things. So how I like to divide the 20% is 10% on personal use. So if I want to hang out with my friends, go in a restaurant, so I'll spend 10% of my income on that. And the other 10%, I like to either spend on things that uh, further my own education in terms of knowledge, or I spend a 10% uh, on my appearance. Okay, because I believe it's extremely uh, important that we upgrade not only our knowledge but also our appearance. So you know, recently I spent you know sixty dollars, you know, run right about ten percent on uh, you know teeth whitening strips. So I'm experimenting with that, and I'm satisfied with the results. Right. So another thing you want to note is if at any re at any moment you know your expenses start to go over you know 70 percent 80 percent than usual you want to deduct from your personal uh income okay don't spend it on don't spend the money on from your savings to cover your expenses use the personal income to cover your expenses all right so second thing is raise your income and lower your expenses. So very simple concept. You probably have heard it before, right? But the thing you want to understand with this is the most important thing is you have to understand your assets and liabilities, okay? So your assets, what are some of your assets? Anything that increases in value, okay? One of the biggest things that I always recommend is you. You know, you have to be your own biggest asset by reading a lot of books to increase your knowledge or further your edu education to increase your self-worth, self-net worth, okay? And so, you know, this could be like, if you if your hobby is collecting Jordans, I know, you know, peep, there's a shoe market that makes a lot of money, so that could be in some way an asset. So gold, if you collect gold, you know, certain type of coins, you, you know, whatever your collection, your hobby may be that increases in assets. So you have to understand the difference between an asset and a liability. And one of the biggest liability uh, people don't really know are cars. Now, some people, you know, can flip a car and make money. Yes, but for the most part, you know, you and I, you know, just buy a car just to one car just to ride it right so you know car always depreciates in value at the same time you know you pay insurance and you get, uh, pay gas and you know throughout the year there's a bunch of other expenses that go into uh, you know maintaining the car the vehicle so it's a liability you know you always have to pay for that okay and uh, likewise any other materialistic possession so you know, whatever you buy, if you buy anything, you know, with a computer, laptop, it's going to always decrease in value as time progresses. So you can't look at something as an asset. You can't look at your computer, your car as something that you can just sell right away and make a lot of money, right? So next and final point is 
increase your income, which I like to call a farmer mentality. So let me share with you uh, my own personal experience with increasing your income, okay? So when I was a civilian, you know, starting out my financial journey, you know, I read very early on, you know, have multiple different sources of income. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to start a business. I'm going to make a YouTube channel. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'll, at the same time, work and you know, balance a bunch of different things and, you know, start two businesses at the same time. And the thing is, it, it wore me out. You know, at first year, it was exciting. Second year, it wore me out and my money was spent, uh, you know, trying to increase, you know, different type of businesses. And my focus wasn't, you know, I couldn't focus on everything at the same time. Okay, and, and biggest thing that I learned uh, from this experience, you know, after my business has failed, is you can only focus on two to three things at a time, and that's it. Okay, so you know the reason why I call this a farmer mentality is because you need to focus on one. Okay, so what you don't want to do is this is you know my best illustration of a farmer. You don't want to grow one crop. And then, you know, try to grow an apple tree at the same... So if you're starting out, you know, trying to diversify and, you know, have multiple sources of income. Let's say you're, you're, you know, you want to be a farmer. And then you go into this farmer game. You don't really have a lot of knowledge. And you go in right into it. And you say, mm, you know, I want to grow corn. At the same time, I want to have an apple tree. At the same time, you know, I want to have a vineyard of grapes. At the same time, you know, I want livestock. I want cows. I want chickens. And you try to focus on multiple different things, right? The way you grow corn is not the same as the way you grow apples. The way you grow apples is not the same as the way you grow a uh, grape and you know, maintain a grapevine. The way, the way you grow grape and maintain a grapevine is not the same uh, way and system as, you know, how you grow cattle right it requires different attention it requires you know multiple different parts and things so you can't focus on multiple different things okay you want to focus on one thing and then you know you know 10% of your time you can experiment with another thing okay so that's one of the biggest thing that i learned so if you are right now your position is hey you know I want to uh, have multiple sources of income, and you're trying you're trying to do multiple different things. I, I my best advice to you is stop spreading yourself too thin. Okay, focus on one. You only need to be successful on one thing. Okay, a lot. For example, a lot of people that I see on online, on YouTube, uh, on social media in general. They, you know, one of the best examples I can give you is people spread themselves too thin. You know, they have their YouTube, they have Instagram, they have Snapchat, they have, you know, multiple different social media sites they try to promote. You know, they start a second channel. They are spreading themselves too thin because the way you grow YouTube is not the same as the way you grow into, uh, Instagram. The way you grow Instagram is not the same way as the way you grow Snapchat. The way you grow Snapchat is not the same as the way you grow Facebook. All right? So... Don't stop spreading yourself too thin. Focus on one. You only need to be successful on one thing. So uh, giving you back to the example of social media, you only need to be successful on one platform of social media. And after you, let's say you have a million followers on Instagram, right? Then you cross, uh, cross market into you know, YouTube. Then you cross market into all these other different social medias because you know, once you have a million, you know, a lot of followings, you know, people want to follow you from one to another. But when you first start out and you try, you know, you start out by doing like 10 different things, you know, it's going to be extremely hard and your focus is not going to be in all the 10 different things, right? So thanks for watching. That is uh, my civilian financial talk. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.